pretty much any measurement of healthfulness you can find in America is at a multi-decade low or a record low right now. We are falling apart. And so this is a necessary, this is an overdue move. Like this should have happened decades ago, but here we are, it's 2019 and we have to make it happen now. So that's universal basic income, put a thousand bucks a month in the hands of every American adult. Now some of you are thinking like, ha ha, that sounds great, but isn't that way too much money for us to afford? Who's thinking that? Raise your hand. Anyone? No one? Wow, that'd be great. At least a few people are like, hey, that's like $3 trillion. Um, now, what's amazing is that it gets actually very, very affordable very fast. For context, the economy is at, at $20 trillion, up $5 trillion in the last 12 years. So we're at like massive levels of wealth. Uh, and instead of costing $3 trillion a year, it actually costs more like $1.8 trillion because we're already spending $1.5 trillion on income support, 126 welfare programs, Social Security, and other things that end up just bringing the cost down of guaranteeing everyone $1,000 a month. So what I referenced before about this technology money, you all saw the headlines where Amazon paid zero in taxes last year despite record profits, right? And I'm going to suggest that's not Amazon's fault, that's our fault. Like if you're Amazon's management team, you're like high-fiving, you're like, yes, another another year of zero taxes. Well done. Give those tax lawyers a bonus. Um, and that's cool. That's what they should do. That's what they're supposed to do. But what we're supposed to do is say, hey, we have to have a system that you can't just freaking game that easily. Uh, we need to get the American public a slice of all of that economic innovation that's happening. Because the trap we're in right now, who are going to be the big winners from AI and the rest of it? Who wins? The biggest tech companies, right? You know any promising AI that's going to buy anyway, because they're worth a trillion dollars. You come up with a promising AI company, they're going to buy you for two billion, uh, and they're just going to tack you on. So the big winners are the Amazons and Googles and Facebooks and the Ubers of the world, and they're great at not paying a whole lot of tax. Uh, and so what we have to do is we have to have a tax that they can't game their way out of. And so if you look around the world, every other advanced economy already has a value-added tax, uh, which is very hard to game. And so if we adopted a value-added tax at even half the European level, it generates $800 billion in new revenue, uh, which combined with current spending, all the economic growth that would happen. Imagine if you all walked out of here with an extra thousand bucks a month. Uh, you know, I, I, I dare say your local economies would be a little bigger. <laughs> you'd be like, excellent. Um, pizza on me or, or you know, whatever it is you, you do uh, later tonight. Uh, but multiply that times everyone in the economy, you get hundreds of billions in new tax revenue. You save hundreds of billions on things like incarceration, uh, homelessness services, emergency room health care. And then you also generate hundreds of billions of dollars by having a healthier, stronger, mentally healthier, more productive, more entrepreneurial, more creative population. This thing will pay for itself. Uh, this is called the trickle up economy from human beings, families and communities up. What do you think?